we're gonna talk about timeline shifting okay so <laughs> this is you on your journey of life this is you as a baby this is you at the end as the highest version of this incarnation so there are many different layers it's not just one when I'm talking to people uh, we're constantly shifting into new versions of self but we have these really big pivotal timeline splits that happen so how we reach a new level is we clear out self limiting beliefs uh, behavioral patterns and triggers that are not serving us letting go of old stuck and stagnant energy so this is you right this moment if you are in the middle of a timeline split you are pulling away from this version that was you moments before okay <laughs> and when you do that both of you move up into this new higher self so this one moves here and you move here this one when it moves here helps your inner child heal from the things that you've taught them and that they've learned to pass on. So there is no past, present, and future. It is all happening at once. And the way that we make this quantum jump, this quantum leap into our new version is realizing that we are not actually living in the present, we're living in the future. We're, we are this one. <laughs> we are pulling them into our etheric fields. And so we have to talk to this past version, the one right before us and say, hey, I know that you're very scared right now. It's a lot to timeline shift. Even though it's going to be way more magical and beneficial for us, especially if you've experienced childhood trauma where you haven't felt safe, it makes them feel very uneasy. So what they do, this version right before, is going to blip up all of these self limiting beliefs and say, well, what about this and what about that? The best thing that you can do for them is say, hey, I know that things have been rocky in our past, but that's not our present or where we're headed. How do we know that it isn't going to be a million times better on the other side? But what we want to do is validate them for their feelings and their emotions and say, thank you. Thank you for showing me these self-limiting beliefs because it means you're trying to protect me and keep me safe. But in this present moment, I am the higher self and I need you to trust me. I love you <laughs> and you got to let me shift us into the new version just like a small child when they're nervous sometimes all they need is reassurance that you've got them and that there's a new realm of possibilities out there what we don't want to do is latch onto those self-limiting beliefs because then it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy and you stay stuck <laughs> at this level instead of shifting. And if you go to my profile and click, I have a free guide. It says how to timeline shift and it helps you get clear on who this person is that you're shifting into because that is equally as important as